Hey Gemini, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your reading. I don't know what this reading will be. I just want to see what will come out. I'm going to use this Empathic Oracle to get us started. What do we need to know about Gemini? What does Gemini need to know, Holy Spirit? And we have Stardust, number 41. So I feel like this is like the star card, like you getting guidance and faith and comfort. Um, this is like your wish come true, but I'm going to go ahead and read. I'm not going to necessarily read from the book on every reading, but I just, I like what they say about this card in there. It says, as I look to the night sky, I know within that my soul is as ancient as the lights that shine through the darkness of night. It's a sobering thought to realize that throughout history, every human has gazed at one point to the stars in the sky. Each set of eyes pondered the reasoning behind their existence, what brought them to be, and whether there was more to this journey we call life. You experience all things as energy, thought, emotion, pain, nature, and the elements. All present themselves as an energetic dichotomy looking for space within. This is an easy existence and soon makes you question why. You know that someplace deep within you have a remembrance that we all come from light. This light within your soul has been earned through hard learned truths of experience. You have learned the difference between that which is love and that which pretends. It is in this knowing that we all come from the same light that you can find yourself wishing that others would also remember this truth. Next time someone seems lost or if you sense a spark in their eyes of curiosity, take them out into the night sky and together gaze and be humbled. They just may remember. Beautiful. So now I'm going to get a sacred forest. So these cards may have nothing to do with each other, but I'm just seeing what comes out for you. I love that. Um, that thought that the Stardust card brings that knowing that our ancestors have all looked up to the stars and had wonders that could have been the same as ours or different. And it's like we're all absorbed in that light. All right. So what do we have from the Sacred Forest Oracle? And we have Eagle Spirit Freedom. So this, I just feel like all of this is like, understanding the higher perspective. So the eagle can see from way high up and has its target, but this is also like magic and freedom. So I love that this all goes together. So let's see how this is playing out. And freedom may be in question here. I feel like this is the challenge or seeing the higher perspective is the challenge. What do we have as the recent past energy for Gemini? And we have the four of coins. So holding on to things and kind of a scarcity mentality. This can be a good card, but very rarely for me. I just feel like it's always going back to kind of hoarding and not believing that the universe is going to provide like thinking that you have to do everything yourself in order to make things happen and this is all telling you otherwise so what's the current energy for gemini and we have the ten of wands yeah i feel like there's been a lot of burdens and you haven't necessarily put them at the foot of god like um really just letting go and understanding that we're all here for a purpose and one of those main purposes is learning all these lessons right and it can be quite burdensome but you can let go of that once you realize that um that even the lessons are experiences that we can savor okay so then i have the freedom is the challenge here and let's see what the advice from spirit is for Gemini. And we have the six of coins. This is generosity. This is feeling financially free to be able to share your wealth. That's a big deal here. So we have 
Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Taurus. What else do we have? What's the outcome here for Gemini? And we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, I feel like once you're able to really have faith and believe and let go of this burden of the scarcity of not having enough, then you're going to get this freedom. That's where you're going to have your victory. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Palace of Cups. So this is completely in your emotional body. So I feel like there is a call to be around water and to recognize that there are messages coming through your emotions. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of um, emotion here. There's passion. There's, there's um, the desire to move to make action, to have action. But let's clarify here. So what is this four of coins about for Gemini? And we have the magician. So this is them letting you know that you are a creator, that you don't have to have the scarcity mentality because everything you need to create to manifest is all within you so there is nothing that anyone can take away from you there is only what you can manifest what is this ten of wands about and we have justice so yes the burden is heavy but the universe always balances things out that's what i'm feeling this card is really trying to tell you. Why is this freedom card here? What is the freedom? Why is this a challenge for Gemini? And we have the Eight of Swords because you're trapped in your own um, restrictive energy. The scarcity mentality of, you know, I'm stuck this way. I have to um, stay stuck. What is the Six of Coins about? we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, full contentment, emotional contentment, sharing that with others. That's where this generosity comes in. That's, that's when you're able to truly experience life and for all the good. And then also it's like being content with understanding that every, it took everything to get you to this Ten of Cups, which is your ultimate goal. What's the Six of Wands about? And we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this is, you know, like this is freedom. This is this freedom, I feel like, to go after what you believe. Um, it's very quick moving energy as well as the Six of Wands. So, um, yeah, I feel like this is you being able to carry your sword of truth freely. Okay. And knowing that you're protected because you are the ultimate protector here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is like a guardian angel energy. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles can be considered the guardian angel, someone that is looking out for you. So knowing that you're protected, knowing that any any threat to your freedom is only self-imposed so if you can get out of the mindset that you are restricted that you don't have enough that's when you're going to have oh i am so sorry that's when you're going to have the ultimate victory here all right so let's get some crystal wisdom to close this out And we have this one here, Rose Quartz, self-love. I approve of myself and love myself deeply and completely. And we have this one here. And this is, I always, I don't know how to say this, Dioptes, Dioptes, love. I am love and love is me. And we have the Ruby shine it's time for me to shine beautiful and the last one is the fire agate creativity i allow the creativity of my soul to shine 
through into my world. So I'm getting a lot of this shine and stardust. So I feel like, you know, you may be in the spot spotlight with the stardust and the six of wands here, loving yourself, loving others, sharing that love with others and being creative. And I feel like this is creation energy with that uh, magician there, that you are a creator. You are a divine creator. So that is the message that came through for you. Hopefully this helps you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.